。好，第廿八題咧就有關於量度一個蠶豆嘅成長嘅。咁當佢發芽啦，咁啊究竟咧下面邊個參數係一個最好用嘅參數咧？咁但係咩叫最好用嘅參數咧？就係、是、啦，能夠帶出一個最明顯嘅改變嘅，亦都能夠知得到佢真係成長緊啊嚇。咁啊 A、B、C、D 咧，我就先講咗 B、C、D 先。咁啊 B 咧就話啦，葉嘅面積啊，咁但係你會發現咧。頭嗰段時間咧，其實都未有葉嘅，咁你日日喺度零零零零零 cm square 係冇意思噶嘛，咁所以 B 就唔係答案啦。跟住 C 同埋 D 咧，其實就互相呼應嘅。C 就係話啦，個胚胎嘅重量啦 ，D 咧就係個子葉嘅體積啦。咁呢個所謂嘅子葉咧，其實喺呢個蠶豆嚟計咧，就係、是、粒種子入面嘅嘢食啊。咁其實啦，我哋要去理解嘅就係呢：當一粒種子發芽成長嘅時候啦，其實佢儲嘅嘢食係會用咗佢㗎嘛。咁所以 full storage 如果下降嘅話啦，咁其實你會發現呢，其實個子葉呢係越嚟越細粒嘅。咁所以啦，其實佢係一個跌幅嚟嘅。咁跌幅又何來代表住成長呢？咁對於成長嘅概念，應該係一個不可逆轉的升幅嚟㗎嘛。啲已經錯啦。跟住返返去 C 呢，就話啦個胚胎嘅重量，咁我唔理你係量度嗰個先重，定抑或係嗰個乾重啦。嗱，先重呢，咁其實有機會上升嘅，咁係因為呢，棵植物始終吸咗水啊嘛。咁但係啦，佢嗰個升幅係咪咁明顯呢？又未必嘅。dry mass 咧就一定係會跌添，咁啊因為啲養分呢，其實就係用咗去去變成佢嘅 p r o m i o 同埋 radical 胚茎同埋胚根，咁所以啦 C D 都唔係答案，唯獨呢就係 A， 因為啦你真係每一 part 呢，你見得到呢。初。初期個 shoot 嗰個咁樣嘅長度咧，的確係好短嘅。但係慢慢啦，又會見到佢長啲，又會見到佢長啲，又見到佢長啲。咁呢個咧就係一個明顯嘅改變啦。所以答案就係 A 啦。Question twenty eight is asking for the options A, B, C, D. Which parameter is best for measuring the growth of the broad bean after germination? So actually, what does it mean the best parameter? It means that it can help us to measure the growth. That the most obvious change of the germinating block bean. So that's why we are looking for the most obvious changes. So for the options A, B, C, D, I would like to talk about B, C, D first. For the option B, the area of the leaves. So you can see that at the very beginning there is no leaf at all. So they. So that's why it's not an obvious change. And for C and D, I talk about them together. Option C is the weight of the embryo, and option D is the volume of the condylarthrum. So for the weight of the embryo, no matter we are measuring the fresh mass or the dry mass, so if we are measuring the fresh mass, so it may increase slightly because at least the ceiling it will absorb the water. But is the change of the fresh mass obvious enough? Not really. And for the dry mass. Because the food storage in the cordylandum is used is consumed, so that's why the dry mass of the whole ceiling will decrease. But for the growth, we should observe the irreversible increase of the of the bulb mass or the size. So that's why it doesn't really fit the growth concept. For option D. When we talk about the cordylandum, we need to mention the bulb bean when it germinate, so it will consume the food storage in the cordylandum. So what if the food storage is consumed? So that's why the volume of the cordylandum also decrease. So that's why it doesn't really fit the concept of growth. So that's why the answer must be A, the length of the shoot. Although at the very beginning we may not see that much change in the shoot length. But later on, we can see that the length of the shoots becomes longer and longer. So that's why the answer is A.